Hi, and welcome to your next lesson. Today, you'll be learning about the true meaning of the word justice and how God seems to have a very different understanding of what this word means than what we normally do. It's so important for us to understand what justice really is because every day we're being exposed to some new issue of injustice around the world. We need to give a lot of thought, contemplation, and prayer if we're going to understand how we should approach these issues. Today, I encourage you to examine your own heart. Ask God to break your heart for something that's in His. Let Him be the one to give you the burden for people that are trapped in these horrible situations. Don't just try to find some cause or some issue and give yourself to it and take all the responsibility onto your own shoulders, but instead, draw close to the Lord. Let Him be the one to inspire you to begin contributing to these people, to these places that need your help. Don't be the one to carry the burden on your own shoulders, the weight and responsibility of all that pain and suffering and all of the work that goes into it. If you take the responsibility onto your own shoulders, it will crush you and it will paralyze you. And so what Jesus is offering is he says, come follow me, take my burden, my yoke is easy, my burden is light. We get to walk in the freedom of God, knowing that he is the one that is going to bring about the change. We just get to walk with him and be contributors in the kingdom of God. Our God is powerful and he is loving and wise and he's just. And so we can trust him that whatever way he decides to deal with these issues of injustice will be the correct ways to do it. So we don't actually have to walk around pretending like we have the answers to all the questions or that we're the solution to everyone's problems. But instead, we can know that we are in relationship with the one who is the solution to everyone's problems. So let's just align ourselves with him. Let's align our hearts and our values with his heart and his values. And let's just see what comes out of that.